Um, Ms. Duke, I assume because of your background in acquisition, um, you believe that any large capital expenditure should have a cost-benefit analysis. Yes, I do. And you're aware, of course, that there has been no cost-benefit analysis performed on this wall. Yes, and I understand that uh, CBP is preparing that. Okay. Um, and there has been no money appropriated for this wall, correct? There is currently no money uh, other than existing money in the uh, CBP uh, BizFit account. But actually, they have to allow that to be reprogrammed, correct? Yes, that is correct. And it's my understanding that in order to keep congressional oversight and congressional power in check, which I believe all the members of Congress want as it relates to executive orders, that there has to be a sign-off by the ranking and chair of the appropriations subcommittee for those reappropriations. Yes, that's my understanding. And are you aware that has not occurred? Uh, I am aware. Okay. So we have no sign-off for reprogramming whatsoever on this wall. The and we have no cost-benefit analysis for the wall. Now, let me go further. Um, part of that analysis must be that when you spend money in one area and take it away from another area, you've got to analyze the threat risk. And we've spent a lot of time on threat risk at the Department of Homeland Security. Yes. In fact, some of the cuts that are being proposed to biodefense, I couldn't agree with more because there was a whole lot of money wasted there in light of the threats that face our country. A lot of money on something that wasn't really a threat when we had real threats that were not being addressed. So do you, are you aware of any analysis that's been done that would say that it makes more sense to build a wall places along the border where the Border Patrol even says they don't want it or need it, and at the same time take a cut to the Coast Guard that would seriously impair the ability for us to intercept heroin that is the most deadly problem facing our country? That, that analysis is in progress to my understanding, and I can com commit to you, Senator, that if confirmed, I would be using that analysis and moving forward. The same thing would, ap uh, would apply to the TSA cuts that are being proposed to pay for this wall where no one has said that that wall is actually going to make us demonstrably safer or secure. The TSA cuts, the Viper teams are being proposed to be cut. And of course, the Viper teams are the ones that we rely on to keep our airports safe in light of the tragedies that have occurred around the world. Um, has there been any analysis that the Viper teams are less important than part of the wall in places where there really is no utilitarian reason for a wall because of the geography of the, of the border? 